Merry Christmas, everybody! So welcome to Double Pebble. So um, today is Christmas Eve, and uh, I'm not sure anybody would want to watch a review video on Christmas Eve. All of you should be outside, you know, celebrating with your loved ones. But nonetheless, I'm gonna do this for your weekend pleasure. All right. So today we are gonna be looking at one of the most legendary attacking midfielders in modern history uh, we are talking about this old man now Francesco Totti he seemed to be in the game forever how is he now like 50 years old I'm not sure man he's been there since I first watched soccer I swear to god for that all right so let's look at his stats first all right okay so apparently he's born in 76 oh my gosh oh so anyway uh, Francesco Totti plays mainly for uh, in a camp position because I realized that I haven't really reviewed a lot of camps um, so far I've only reviewed World Best Iniesta whom I think is good but a little bit too small uh, too short and then uh, 06 World Cup Ronaldinho whom I think is really just a show pony there's really nothing good about him alright so today we'll be looking at a more all-rounded camp Francesco Totti. Now, the first thing that uh, we'll be we will notice is that this version of Totti is actually pretty pacey. Okay, it's 84 spring, 86 acceleration, uh, good agility, 82 dribbling, ball controls is good, short passing is decent, 89. In fact, it's good, and then uh, finishing is good as well. Basically, when you look at the stats, right? Uh, Totti is like a jack of all trades. I would say you know every stat is above 80. Um, the only thing is below 80 is 74 that is strength and jump is a little bit low at 71 and what else uh, short curve is 73 that's not very important penalty is 77 not very important aggression is a little bit low 77 but other than that most of it is 80 and above so that is very very good stats all right now he's got 10 traits which is a pretty hefty amount so he's a midfield master goal master he's a playmaker that's important and uh, he's a crosser as well that is also important for the way i play and then he's a dribble master he's a long shot specialist for sniper and then he's free kick specialist he's a target man he's a wing player and acrobatic so he's got a lot a lot of good traits okay work rate is 2-2 i'm not so particular about work rates for camps so it can be 2-2 it can be 3-2 it really doesn't matter um, traits wise is diver so he might be able to win the penalty here and there if you do some skills solid player skill move king long shot playmaker ball passer okay now last thing we, before we go into the in-game analysis is his price average 65 million currently 78 million now if you ask me that is not a lot of money today okay you can easily get 78 million like that okay if you know how so anyway um, we'll see at the end whether he's worth it so now let's crack on with our in-game analysis right so Totti is absolutely amazing okay I have to admit that he is the best cam I have used so far and that includes world best kaka you know I, I my main team is a world best kaka but it's nowhere near as good as a uh, 06u Totti now first things first I've played six games with him and out of the six five of them he was man of the match now admittedly when i do a review i try to pass to the that player that i review as much as possible but he still is the man of the match five out of six times okay next thing is his goal scoring he's scoring a lot of goals for me from cam now i'm not expecting my cam to score a lot but he scores a lot okay and he does his fair share of assists as well so that will be a bonus for players who use a lot of central attacking because he is a very good attacking player right now we talked about his pace earlier so now he's got plenty of pace for a camp uh, most midfield players are not that pacey so he should have uh, ease getting away from his midfield markers okay and defenders not to say are normally slower he should be able to get away from them and then his agility dribbling and ball control these three important traits are all good which makes his dribbling very easy okay he is a very smooth very easy player so that will come in useful uh, his height as well he's 180 not the tallest but good enough for a midfield player as you can see in my highlights he scored I think two or three important headers from crosses and that is something that uh, Iniesta most of the time is not able to do so that is another added bonus okay now another more important thing is um, 
his set piece is ridiculously good now i don't really mention this a lot because uh, people always assume that set piece is the same you know any taker is the same but to me it makes a lot of difference you will realize when you use some set piece takers they just can't seem you can't just you can't seem to just score from from that set piece but totti if you look at my highlights how many assists have he made from corners every corner is on point even if you don't score it is dangerous always on target always threatening so if you are using totti please make him your set piece taker free kicks corners just let him take it all right next is his passing and playmaking now there's this trade called the maestro trade or the playmaker trade okay most of the time we can't feel the effect of this but i'm not sure why i was able to feel this trade for uh, from totti because he always seems to be available for the pass like a true playmaker always in uh, the free man there always pulling the strings in midfield um so that is also useful for can I even i don't even get this feeling from iniesta so i'm not sure why okay uh, last good strength from him is his attacking position he always seem to find free space it could be because um com it, it is part of the playmaker trade i'm not sure but he's always available always finding space and if let's say you are on a counter attack he's always the man running into space for you to hide through so that is super useful right now the only few weakness that i have and i'm really going to nitpick is first his lack of strength so he gets muscle off the ball um, by more powerful midfielders like a Vidal, like a Botman, you know, this sort of midfield, they do tend to muscle him off a bit, but he's still uh, more physical compared to Iniesta, alright? And the, the other thing is the no 5 star skill, not a big problem for a camp, but nonetheless, it's still another small little weakness, okay? So, all in all, I would say that Totti is at least a 9 out of 10, okay? Almost perfect, one of the best camps in the game at 78 million pound, um, ep he is super cheap i would say because um he he's got everything that you need in a cam and he's a playmaker as well so um for those who are looking for a cam think no further totti is your man 78 million go for him make him a plus two if you can all right so with that i hope uh, you guys enjoy this video and uh don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this comment and share this video and a merry christmas to everyone and i'm gonna see you next time